Hello and welcome to Sendjucation post launch analysis of the data with yours true Zenzu, where we talk everything Zen and specifically Zen protocol. I do these videos for the Zen community and you people interested in first principles of crypto applied to a protocol which connects like minded people from all over the world. None of this is any financial advice of any kind, but like the sunrise with its rays lightening up from the horizon in the early dawn, turning darkness into light, so does Zen enter the world with the paradigm of light, guzzling in the eyes of the clusters, making them cry like sinful rivers. Launch. We had a high participation at launch, guys. 16,000 concurrent visitor, 125,000 total at the day of the launch. Here we can see the app's growth in users. We arguably just did the most fair launch in the history of launches. No pre-mint, no founder allocation, no team allocation, no origin address. We all started at the same time. We are all Santoshis and we can all be Satoshi this time forever. Bam! That sets a new standard for others to take after. Jack got a C rank of around 3000. I myself got my transaction stuck as many, many others due to the high congestion. Uh, I got my C rank at 15,000, something like that, which I'm very happy with. There are 15,000 that got in before me, but I'm just as happy for that. All of this is thanks to the amazing Xenians, our hospitable army. We are now officially the number one telegram group out of 22,000 using Combot. That's community, guys. That's adoption right there. And if we look at the Google Trends for Zen and Zen Crypto, we can see that uh, it's picking up beautifully all, all, all over the world. It's a beautiful spread of awareness of first principles of crypto. It's just uh, some bank Manfred here on an island sipping on a coconut drink in the Bahamas uh, with Tony Blair, who hasn't heard of this yet. They're still in the dark, but they will come around and adapt. The word is getting out there, guys. Very good job. Very good job. If we look at the current state of the data on Zend.network, we can see that we have, in three days, have a G rank of almost 700,000, uh, which is quite amazing. And it, it's probably a 10x of what we expected this early. Um, out of the supply, uh, most of it is liquid, which is expected, uh, and, and more on that later. Uh, the term limits uh, are already up to 389, and just for reference, they are steadily going to taper off since it follows the disinflationary logarithmic curve. Uh, we, when we are at a G rank of 10 million, we're going to be at uh, 450 days uh, of possible T. Uh, the amp is chugging down one per day beautifully, uh, like a clock. The EAA, however, is decreasing fast. Uh, the disinflationary uh, effect uh, is showing here, and we, we're already down to 9.4%. Uh, so. So what, what can we say? Well, the supply is as according to the mint formula, highly inflationary, but the disinflationary effect of the minting speed has already kicked in. It will be increasingly more difficult to mine them with time and adoption. And we can already see that uh, this early on in the metrics. Very interesting, guys. And on etherscan.io, we can see that the current GUI is still pretty high. Uh, it's, it's at around uh, 13, 14 right now as we speak. And the days leading up to the launch, the GUI for the whole network was around five uh, in, in that area. I think 
we pushed it up to around 280 or something like that. I'm not really sure exactly how much it was. I haven't uh, investigated deeply in it. Uh, for some days, we also congested uh, above 50% of the whole Ethereum network. And Zen is the, still the biggest uh, gas guzzler. And, and why is it so? Well, e Ethereum can only process 15 transactions per second. And yeah, Zen is all about adoption, baby. So that's just how it is. And on ultrasound.money, for example, you can see that when we launched Ethereum started to become um, deflationary. And that means that it currently burns more ETH than it issues due to the EIP 1559 that came in fact last September. So ETH burn is, is good for Ethereum. So I think the ETH guys could be happy about that, even though the cost of transaction is still currently more expensive for, for everybody. But uh, check out the graph, guys. It's interesting to follow the, the burn and the uh, issuance uh, on the Ethereum supply. On the Tuesday, we could see the articles starting to come in. You know, it, it's apparent that, that our journalists don't read white papers. We know that. But Yahoo Finance did a, did a fair analysis on the ETH supply, at least. Uh, here we can see. Top Ethereum gas guzzler Zen Crypto is crunching ETH supply. Uh, Ethereum supply growth entered a deflationary state on Saturday, a first for the blockchain since the merge upgrade that shifted the network to a proof of stake consensus mechanism in September. Ethereum's burn rate has gone up along with gas fees, uh, transaction fees, since Saturday behind the immense traffic brought on by a new cryptocurrency called Zen Crypto. Zen Crypto based cryptocurrency, la, 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 which accounted for 30% of the network's transaction fees over the past day. The cryptocurrency was created by ex-Googler engineer Jack Levin and launched over the weekend, offering free minting for users willing to pay gas fees. Yeah, guys, uh, interesting. Uh, we, we can expect um, a lot of um, analysis from the journalists this coming week. Um, I think we got the attention. Um, so le let's see what everybody has to say about that. And here is some Etherscan stats. Shakalak shakaboom. Zen enters the room straight to the top. Most unique senders, number one. Uh, second, when it comes to unique receivers, I think we're going to pass Tether soon. Watch out, Tether. Uh, number one when it comes to total uniques. Uh, number one when it comes to tokens by transaction count. Like we talked about, guys, viral tokenomics built in. Remember when we talked about wallets and we took Chipotle as an example. Why did Chipotle accept Dodge, Dodge as a means of payment? Well, because Dodge was in six million wallets. Now we can see that we can go viral, just as we assumed. Zen will be in millions of wallets and tens of millions and hundreds of millions of wallets. And it's, it's already on that very fast viral path. So Zen should be attractive for any business to start uh, accepting Zen as a means of payment. We are so early, guys. But utility for Zen, is it possible? Well, you tell me. Are you winning, son? So if you go to dune.com, uh, six degree, big shout out, whoever you are, you did a fantastic job to compile some very interesting uh, data. And as we can see here, uh, new users hourly, which is steadily increasing, it's interesting. Uh, the different claim term days, this is very interesting, guys. Here you can see what is this? This is one day, two days, etc., etc. So, what can we say? Well, the the term day claims most have chosen many have chosen uh, uh, as long t as possible as uh, it, it is increasing, uh, and this is expected. We we also knew that a lot of people would choose a shorter t to free up liquidity we, we had a mint term mechanics built in to stimulate liquidity 
by limiting the term limit to 100 days for the first 5,000 addresses. In retrospect, this probably did have, didn't have so much effect in relation to the explosive growth we had right from the bat, uh, which we in no way could anticipate uh, from having to go from white paper to launch in less than three months. Uh, th there's a lot more uh, data to study in, in depth and it's very interesting to see where the liquidity goes, uh, but it's also very early, so it, it, you can't draw too many conclusions already. But as we can see, the, the interest to free up liquidity to the markets uh, is very high um, and, and people want to be the ones who are offering this liquidity. Um, to the market because they can see that there is a big interest in this. Uh, please dive into this metric, guys. Uh, very well done dashboard, uh, Six Degree. Nice work. Um, thank you very much. So we got listed on CoinMarketCap uh, right away. So now you can also uh, find us there. Uh, th this downward pressure uh, on the price is somewhat expected. It's a, it's a schizophrenic uh, price discovery initially and as supply hits the downward pressure uh, from that release uh, of liquidity uh, from the short-term minters pushes uh, down the price and th this is price discovery mode guys so be very careful price does not really uh, matters what matters is to build this network and, and getting it to as many uh, people as uh, possible so here, if you go to markets, we can also see that this is quite insane. You know, Sen got listed basically everywhere, um, not everywhere, but on a lot of different places uh, within just two or three days. You have to realize that this right here is insane. Usually a crypto project, uh, you often come in the dilemma of eventually even voluntarily getting listed on a centralized exchange to get liquidity and marketing exposure to survive in the hard competition, even though it goes against everything that is crypto. You have to negotiate for a long time with these centralized exchanges uh, because it is in their business model to suck out as much money as possible from you. They make money on listing fees and that crypto um, projects have to pay and these fees are insanely high in the case in this case we haven't talked to any one of them we didn't plan to get listed on any centralized exchange but they have decided to list us anyway you know if i rule the world we wouldn't even be listed on any one of these centralized exchanges but this is how the reality looks like guys it's up to the community to communicate to all holders of zen that by having zen on a centralized exchange you have no self-custody at all. You have signed away all of those rights when you sign up. Here many just listed us anyway. I'm getting hit up by many still offering 60% discount to be listed. Remember, there are many ways to win, even though the road is not straight. And just like Sam will infiltrate every chain with first principles, we will now have the attention to bring this matter up to awareness to everyone. So for everyone who bashed us for Sen getting listed on centralized exchanges, well, what, there, there was no option for us here. We can't do anything about it. This is what the industry looks like. It's in the hands of centralization. We need to wake up on this. We are going after the 96%, but let's not forget that the 4% is mostly not crypto centralized exchanges where people give up custody and also by the way centralized uh, controlled stable coins is not really crypto as well we could expect sam uh, with adoption to become more distributed with time and uh, than it is now and and with, with the mints from the longer mint uh, termers uh, when they come into uh, circulation the centralized exchanges chose a, a short uh, t to use sam as a marketing plot and they saw the bus and were impressively quick to to act and, and uh, list them here we can see for instance that uniswap has 73 uh, percent of of the volume and i hope it's correct because it is it's uh, it's amazing 
so, so see them as an opportunity to bring attention to the centralized exchanges, centralization issue, where people give up their custody of their coins. Spread the awareness and seniors do everything you can to help people learn how to engage with uh, decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and SushiSwap and, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's how it is, guys. A bit about safety, guys. Uh, please be safe. There are many, many, many scams out there right now that are thriving on our success. Uh, make sure, for instance, you when you interact with protocols that you are interacting with the right contract address. If you go to Zen.network and you scroll down, you can see the right contract address here. And if you click on it, uh, you will be directed to Etherscan. And here is the correct uh, contract address. So make sure that that it is the right one. Never give up your seed phrase to anyone. There are imposters uh, out there impersonating Jack Levin, impersonating me. There's only one Zenzu, and I will never DM you at first. Remember that they will say, hey, please send me one ETH and, and I will make you the new Madonna or something like that. Th there's fake Telegram groups, there's fake everything. So uh, guys, Please be very careful uh, with uh, who you talk to and what you do and which protocol you interact with and how and so on. So just in a matter of days from launch, we have seen that Zen already has a huge effect. We of course expected this, but we're also surprised that it came so fast. Zen is the new kid in town and everything and everyone will have to adapt to that, whether they want it or not. They need and want to follow and support a protocol which follows first principles, is transparent, has no origin address, no admin keys, self-custodianship, permissionless and much less unnecessary uncertainty is simply so strong in relation to the many problems we see today. All we did was define problems we want to solve. We created a potential solution for it and everyone will have to adjust to it. The effect of adapting to this new reality is going to be hard for everyone. Just understanding properly what Zen is and how it works will take time. We already see a lot of misconceptions from people writing articles and self-proclaimed know-it-all influencers you know, with, without clearly having read the white paper in the first place. There's going to be a lot of FUD and a lot of crying. This is supposed, this is expected. But the question is, what do we do about it? Apart from buying stock in tissue companies, we're just going to keep pushing for first principles, grow this amazing community and continue building. Are we talkers or are we builders? Everyone else will have to compare their system to Zen and how it fits in. Adopt to first principles or become irrelevant. My hypothesis is that the systems furthest away from first principles are going to cry the most. Please be gentle with the crybabies, guys, and do whatever you can not to fall into the emotions. Correct when necessary. Teach. Have fruitful discussions. We welcome critical discussions. We avoid the toxic tonies. It doesn't matter that we're trying to solve the adoption problem for the whole crypto market. People will bash us with small stuff anyway. And let's not lose focus on what is really matters. Sand Protocol is the best iteration we have today to solve the many problems we set out to solve. We are not married to the protocol. If ever a better solution comes along, we must be open to accept that. But this is the very best iteration we have today. And I have no idea how, how anyone would approve on this protocol today, but someday our mindset and code will be forked into something new and potentially better, but maybe we can even have forks. So, so we, we welcome a fleet of solutions, but for now, Zen is the new kid in town. So are you feeling lucky, punk? So what do we do? Three things. We build on top of Zen protocol. We can already hear the DJs all around the world pounding the keyboard so hard to build stuff on top of and in relation to Zen. Just go, guys. First principles of crypto are released once again. Let's do it right this time. 
Second, we grow the community, the heart of the machine, the Zenians. Nothing of this would have even been possible without the Zenians. We did this together. We are the hive mind of like-minded people together. And we're just going to continue to develop our bonds and ways to work together, making awesome stuff. So are you in or are you out? And third, we share. We share the first principles of crypto. No matter what or how, the most important thing is that the first principle of crypto gets attention. It's how we make the world better. Continue to spread the first principle gospel. Are we talkers and crybabies or are we builders? Let's go. Let's do this, guys. Build, grow, share. My fellow Sinians, we did all of this in less than three months. Ask yourself, where are we going to be in three years? We have only started. We have a lot to do. God damn it. Am I the only one who now have to cancel ballet practice on Tuesdays? Let me know in the comment section. Goodbye, guys. This is Senzu over and out. Let's go.